Hey, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my personal top five favorite spots to payday in Pokemon Mo. So the first spot we're going to be covering is actually north of Icarus City in Unova, and I've covered this spot in a lot more detail in a previous video, so if you're interested in checking that out, and more so on the reasons why we go to this spot, you can go ahead and do that. Check it out in this description below, but you're basically going to come up here towards Dragon Spiral Tower and just Super Rod here, and you're going to encounter level 40 to 55 Basculin, and then some level 30 to 40 Dratinis and Dragonairs. And a huge reason why we do this spot is because you can make some really good Pokemon per hour around 55 to 60k, which is the average you're going to see in all of these areas. It's always going to be around 50 to 60k. Uh, Pokemon, but you're also going to have that chance at that Shiny Dratini or Shiny Dragonair, which is you know, the, the, the huge benefit of this spot if you choose this spot. Okay, now moving on to the next spot. I'm going to be trying to find at least one good spot for east, each region, but there's also some, these are also some personal spots that I use personally, so they might not be the best, but most of these are going to be pretty good. Most of these are going to be used by a lot of players, so they should be pretty good overall. This is the second spot. It's going to be on Five Island within Kanto region. So you're going to want to come over here. You can. There's two different spots here. You can either run around in here and find things like Firo, Pidgeotto, Meowth. Uh, I think there's also Persian. I'm not sure. Kind of that. Those kind of Pokemon. Those normal types, flying types. Uh, pretty average stuff, but then you can also go over to this memorial pillar area, and I'll kind of show you guys where that is. I much prefer that location. So it's still on this island, but you're going to want to come over here, cut down this tree, come southeast. You're going to want to surf on this path over to the east to come over to memorial pillar. Okay, and this is actually one of my personal favorite payday spots, and I've spent a ton of time here. The reason being, this is the spot where you can get Skiploom and Hopip. And for those who don't know, I actually do have a Hopip shiny of my own. So I was eventually hoping to just like, which I love, I love Hopip shiny. Actually, there's a long story behind my Hopip shiny. It took me around eight years to get it, and I was hunting for it for an extremely long time. So maybe one day I could do a video on that, but. Anyways, the point of this is that you can, you know, hunt for shiny Hopip or shiny Stiploom if you're interested in those Pokemon while you're here. I personally love this spot. It's also really good money per hour. The only issue is you might want to bring a couple paydayers, like maybe two or three, if you have them, just because the spot is a little far from the Poke Center, but not super far. Max Repel is a super good pickup item. It's a little far from the Poke Center, but not super far. You just have to run through some grass and mainly surf through the water. It's kind of annoying getting hit by tentacles and stuff on the way, but... It's not so bad. I love this per spot personally. Definitely one of my favorites, but that's it for Kanto spots. There's two spots here that I really recommend. I'm going to head over to Hoenn, and I'll have a nice spot there and show you guys that. See you soon. Okay, now for the spot in Hoenn. We're going to be starting here at the Battle Frontier, and it is a bit of a trek, but there is going to be a pretty cool Pokemon that we're going to be hunting here. It's also cool because uh, this spot is good if you have a lower level Paydayer. This is definitely the spot I would recommend the most, I think, out of any of the spots. Yeah, I think by far the most out of any spots. If you have a low-level Paydayer, this is going to be the best spot because the Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be Smeargle. And Smeargle has pretty low base defenses and pretty low pretty low base stats in general for the level of Pokemon it is. I believe the Smeargles here are around level 48 on average, maybe level 45 to 50. Which is going to be netting you around 55 to 60k an hour for attacking such a low defense, low base deaded Pokemon. 55 to 60k per hour is pretty damn nice. So you just want to keep heading west through this water that you've seen me following. There's only really one way you can go on this path, so it is hard to get lost. But you just want to head west down to this cave. This is going to be Artisan Cave. For those who don't know, this is where you find Smeardle. And it's also cool because Smeardle is a really cool shiny, so you can just run back and forth up in this spot or up and down in this spot over here. You can also encounter Smeardle hordes here. Here's a level 50 male Smeardle. Smeardle's a pretty good one. I definitely recommend this spot the most if you have a low-level payday or once again. I think it's really important to nail that in. I think it's just the best spot if you have a low-level payday or you can even level your Pokemon here. There's an energy route, super nice, adds to the Pokemon per hour. Honestly, with picked up, you're probably getting more likely, more accurately around 70k Pokemon per hour paydaying, which I don't really think about much. Maybe I should. That's pretty damn solid Pokemon per hour, honestly. It's honestly, especially for sort of such a brain off method, we can just do it in the background while watching anime, while watching shows, while watching movies, watching my YouTube, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, I think it's a pretty enjoyable method, at least for some. Okay, yo, so now I'm in Sinnoh. 
And it's actually kind of widely considered that Sinnoh is a pretty bad location for a payday, but so I actually went out of my way to go do some personal testing. These aren't really methods that people do. People don't usually payday in Sinnoh, but if you're locked in Sinnoh, if that's the region you, you know, started on and completed and you're looking for a Sinnoh spot, these are, I'm trying to, I tried to find some cool options for you guys. So we're going to start here in Sunny Shore Town, run west through this little tunnel pretty close to a PC run around here you can either rock smash that rock or surf around it like this and come over to this little patch and basically run forth back and forth in this patch and as you can see there's some pretty cool Pokemon in this area the average Pokemon level here is 40 so it's lower than the usual kind of 45 to 55 that you're gonna be used to paydaying which means two things you're gonna be making a bit less Pokemon and the Pokemon are going to be easier to KO. So if that's if that fits more your MO and that's better for you, that's really cool. And I, I hope the spot works well for you. The spot is also really interesting. As you can see, there's some really cool Pokemon in the spot. Uh, so this is a really cool spot to sh kind of shiny hunt while paydaying. Seeing things like Luxio, seeing Electabuzz. There's also there's a ton of Pokemon in this in this spot that I'm going to run down. So there's Mr. Mime, Electabuzz, Wingull, Luxio, Floatzel, Gastrodon, Chadot, and I believe Glammeow per... Her ugly Magnemite and Magneton are all in this spot. So there's a there's a floats of hordes you can see. There's a ton of really cool Pokemon in this horde. A ton of really cool shiny chances. So I think this the, this is an interesting horde, an interesting spot to know about, an interesting location to know about painting. If you if you like those Pokemon, want to get those shiny, uh, want that kind of rare you know sp shiny rare wrist spawn. So I think it's fun. I think it's cool to know about, and it's an important thing to at least note within this video. But you will be making probably a, le a bit less pokey in here probably getting more so around 40k an hour another huge thing is that pickup the pickup ability does not work in Sinnoh for whatever reason even though it says up here I don't know if it's not implemented or if it's a glitch I'm not sure but that's what I was told and that's what I've come to understand that pickup does not work in Sinnoh so it is definitely a less optimal payday region but I wanted to at least give you guys one solid option Okay, but that covers every spot that I wanted to cover this video, so hopefully you guys have a nice spot that you like to use. Payday is all about finding a spot with a high level Pokemon with kind of low defenses, just as long as you can one-shot it, that's the really important thing. Using two Paydays per Pokemon is going to put a real damper on your Payday, and it's important to have you know a decently IV'd Paydayer with decent hopefully EV trained hopefully nature and then but then choice band on top of it choice band is really nice choice band makes it so you can kind of skimp on a lot of those things like my attack IV is only 20 on this on this Meowth so it's not perfect could be a lot better but that's all you really need so it doesn't doesn't need to be perfect don't be afraid to go test don't be afraid to go see if you can one shot and just you know kind of learn on your own but thank you guys so much for watching this video like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't leave comments leave feedback criticisms etc i really appreciate any sort of interaction any sort of questions to be answered subscribe if you want to see more daily pokemon Mo content and ring that bell for every single notification on an upload thank you guys so much have a great day best of luck peace